Hello Gemini, we're getting ready for your weekly reading. This will be the first of four for April. I just number them one through four so you can see where you're at. I publish them all as soon as possible in the month so that you can enjoy them. Each reading and every reading by Tarot Philosophy is good for six to 12 months. So if it doesn't resonate with you because these are readings for the collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, please go to the playlist at the end of the video. Uh, and or just to the playlist and take a look and see uh, what you think would be a reading that matches you. Uh, I want to thank everyone for subscribing, liking, sharing, uh, hitting the notification bell and commenting. We did have a wonderful, I just finished about a week ago, a wonderful reading with the winner of the contest. It was supposed to be 20 minutes, but I was having so much fun. We went into an hour long phone reading with with me. I am fully vetted on the internet independently. You can check the description box below if you would like a personal reading and or to see my credentials for the contest. So let's get started. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do want to wish everyone well for this week. I hope that all of you are safe and sound and happy and feeling secure in your lives. It's a very, very difficult time. Um, and I'm going to um, present you with the best reading. We're looking for a very positive reading for our Gemini friends in love. I'm finding the readings are very, very good this week. It's almost as though hard times allow us to really focus on being our best selves. And so the readings have been off the charts good for this week. It's, it's, it's really rewarding as a reader to be able to deliver good news. So hopefully that will be the same for our Gemini friends. What does Gemini need to know in love? What does Gemini need to know in love? This is a love reading. I'll read it as such, but it could be for any relationship. Your mutual energy in the recent past was passion and a passionate um, passionate messages, passionate um, talking about the relationship, really talking about how much you enjoy each other, how much you add to one another's lives. What's the current mutual energy? Look at that, Heart of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, very loving, very traditional, very down to earth, that's Taurus energy very fixated upon creating stability and comfort and love and a cocoon of love. How does your person of interest, Gemini, see the situation? Well, you are the ship that came in. They see you as a manifestation of what they've wanted for their future. They feel as though it is mutual and they look forward to the future with you. How does your person view you, Gemini? How does your person view you? Ooh, we have lots of cards falling all over the place. They view you as a legacy partner, as someone they can spend their life with, as someone who has shares their values. That's Virgo energy. It indicates that they feel that they could build a you're the you're the love of a lifetime. You're the kind of person that has very much equal give and take. Um, that they can count on you that you're reliable, that you're, you've really, you have abundance on your own, that you've created. How do they feel in their heart space, Gemini? They feel burdened. They feel like they need to do work on the relationship. The Spirit of Swords says that there was a head over heart decision that this person made about love with you that has made, created a problem it shows that they've had a little bit of a, a recognition. They, they're trying to look at things differently. But they, this, this little bat looks like a cartoon character who's been punched in the head. Now when I combine that energy with the King of Swords Aquarius energy, what I'm seeing here with this feeling of burden and guilt and this sort of feeling that their, 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 how they feel in their heart space is very weighed down. They knew that you deserved more. They didn't give it. They want to give more to you now. And they want to move forward with you in a slow but steady manner. Again, Virgo energy. 
the your person of interest does not know if you're still interested they're very worried that maybe you've lost interest they're very concerned about the fact that they can't read how you feel they don't know what you're thinking they know that you're being very kind to them but right now for most of you this card indicates that you're not seeing each other as in actively moving the relationship forward it shows that psychologically you have good communication but something definitely went wrong in the relationship with this head over heart decision and your person feeling guilty how do they see the two of you moving forward in the future gemini how do they see the two of you moving forward in the future do they feel how but yep here we go movement of swords movement of swords is the knight of swords they need to come in and tell you something they need to come in and tell you their truth. They know that they left you in a very foggy state of um, not really telling you much, keeping most everything to themselves, all the good feelings. They just never shared it with you. So it shows that now they want to come in. They want to rush in and tell you their truth. What is the hidden energy here for our Gemini friends? Well. The hidden energy for you is to walk away many of you might have already done this this indicates that for all the love you had for this person and i'm going to clarify these uh, right now there there's a separation you you walked away they walked away they walked away i think by not giving to you the way i read this and you've walked away because they didn't give anything to you that you needed you wanted love, you gave love, you gave stability, you had equal give and take, you came to the relationship giving more than they did. And uh, we have a bit of a, an impasse here while this person, your person of interest, um, comes to grips with what happened. All right, the moon card also indicates they don't know how you feel. They're really worried that they hurt the relationship. The advice of the Tarot is just to leave it alone for right now. Just leave it alone. If love is meant to be, it will happen. What is your outcome for the week for dear Gemini? What is the outcome for Gemini for this week in love? You feel pretty raw. The cards are saying that, you know, with these swords cards here, it shows that for most of our Geminis with whom this resonates, you're healing. You're healing from something that was really painful. It was like this person didn't need to treat you this way. You didn't warrant that treatment. That's all about them. That's all about their headspace. That's all about their history, their baggage, their difficulties. Uh, this is a repetition of an old habit. According to this, we have the Nine of Wands and we have the Ten of Wands. This person knows that they have baggage. They've done this before to someone else or, or uh, many people or they've had it done to them. But this is a repetition, a cycle of repetition. And the tarot is saying, don't involve yourself in it. Just let it go. If this person really wants something with you, let them come back and save the cup and heal things with you. But right now, it does not look overly promising. After I said all the readings were so good this week, I'm sorry, Gemini. I am a Gemini, if that makes you feel any better. This resonates with me. Um, but this card indicates that the intellect has to be separated from the heart space. And it clearly was not. Look at here we, oh, that's beautiful. I like that. There is a friendly vibe between the two of you. The cards are showing us that the Page of Cups shows that you still have caring for each other. You're kind. There is some communication, although not an abundance of it. All right, so let's look and see what the advice of the Wisdom of the Oracle has for this week. Advice for our Gemini friends for this week. I am going to go back and clarify shortly. Sorry about that. I did that a little out of sequence, but I'm going to go back and clarify some of this. All right, the tribe. All right, the tribe says that, you know, you have your tribe. Stick to it. There's more to the story. This is an unfinished symphony. Why is it an unfinished symphony? Because your person actually wants to exchange the gifts. You gave them much. 
they didn't give you much they actually want to exchange gifts yang energy masculine energy wants to go the distance so i like that so let's go and clarify so whoever this is gemini is coming back around they haven't done it quite yet circumstances have uh, delayed the process let's look and see why this person has the nine of wands here why does this person have the nine of wands here normally this person is very reliable they're the keeper of the boons the keeper of the boons is the king of pentacles you're the queen of pentacles okay why is was there a hold up on this energy why did this person use aquarius energy instead of uh taurus energy all right weaver of visions that is the queen of cups so for many of you, you you know we always have rising signs moon signs we have all these different signs so it looks as though you were might have been more emotional than they were ready to accept the two of wands you got ahead of them it shows that you were manifesting at a higher rate than they were the seven of wind indicates that they had a really hard time this is a chariot card it went, was going too quickly the wise woman says that you know and the seven of spells says that they were they were, they were confused they were taken off guard that things were going at a pace they that was faster than they anticipated they weren't quite ready for the intense emotions that they felt they weren't they just weren't ready for you gemini <laughs> that's okay most people aren't gemini is always uh you know in their own light and here we have lots of cards that spelled out so i'm going to take this one we have the moonlight sure the moonlight they couldn't see that this person operates in a darker space than you do this indicates that your person may have some depression and other issues very clearly that have nothing to do with you the moon card usually indicates some depression or somebody who doesn't see things in a more positive light they tend to think in the darkness because that's when the moonlight is there all right so their 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 life experience was probably different than yours let's see why this four of swords is here for our beautiful gemini friends why is the four of swords why is the four of swords here for gemini oh look at this your person is really your person feels as though you're their best friend the three of cups they want to spend time with you the four of swords the three of visions again you know the three of cups the three of wands the three of wands your person is really starting to see the light that you you know you you have a really great potential for a relationship and that you saw it before they did the three of cups is best friends the six of visions is the six of cups that's a soulmate energy why is the ten of wands here for your person they think they owe you they they really feel guilty they want to come back and they want to give to you in the way that you gave to them see the six of coins that's equal give and take they want to respond to you the weaver of boons is the queen of pentacles so they want to give back to you why is the movement what truth do they want to tell you look at that keeper of visions that is a scorpio king the king that never talks so much about their feelings but feels very deeply the favorite uncle the favorite brother the favorite workmate the favorite friend they want to come back and really expose and and tell you what's been going on way deep in their heart deep in their heart so how are you going to feel about this revelation gemini how will you feel about this revelation you're going to question it wow that's painful it shows that you don't know if they're after something you don't know if they have an agenda ah okay you will come to see the light here with them because they've behaved in this way so consistently it does make your initial reaction is to not trust what they're saying but it does show in the month of April this is the Aries Emperor that you really do you see that they're being very honest with you so that's your reading Gemini thanks so much take care bye bye